Hi there, I've had a request for a breakdown of this uh, hot guard technique, how to train it and how it might be used in combat. So I'm going to break it down first in the classical form, then I'm going to show you how to train it on the pad, so how to integrate it if you do any kind of MMA type training. And lastly I'm going to show you um, an example of it being used in a UFC competition, which is uh, Vita Belfort when he knocked out uh, Wanderlei Silva. So you can see the concept. This technique is called Lin Wan Chun Choi, which is a chain of piercing punches. Now, Wing Chun also use chain punching, but they tend to be more this way. The Hapkun is more of a moving across. It's punching through the opponent's center line, but it's not keeping exactly square. So it's more like a cross, like a boxer's cross. And then, as I punch, I'm gonna step through and throw the cross immediately with the other hand. So what you're doing is you're getting it similar to like when you're running and you're doing opposite hand and foot. You're doing opposite hand and foot as a continual running motion. The purpose of this, is to drive the opponent back and it's used after you stun somebody. So if, if my opponent's ready and I just charge at him, then it's very easy for him to like level change or trip or, or evade or whatever. This is used after you connect and you've got the person stunned, they're back on their heels, and then you're following up, chasing them up to the fence or going for the finish or in self-defense running through them and escaping. So it's a, it's a versatile technique. It's worth adding in because it's an unconventional technique. You can add it into your pad work. So I'm going to ask Keris to help me out. I'm going to show a couple of ways that you can throw it in your pad work. Okay? First example, if you are in an orthodox versus orthodox. In the classical form, it's done southpaw. I'll explain that in a minute. But most people are going to fight in this kind of position. So from a regular punch, from a regular, for example, a jab, I have my weight forward here. What I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to sneak my rear leg out. So as I throw the jab, I'm effectively switching to a southpaw stance, so it becomes a cross. So it starts off as my lead hand, and then there it is, is my rear hand. So I'm dropping my weight into it. Okay, I can do a more of a breakdown of what we call the drop step for another video, but that's just a way into the technique. If my opponent is rocked, and Keris is going to represent this by coming back to her heels and holding two pads in front of her head, that's my cue. That means my opponent's been rocked, they're back. And until that point, I do not want to charge recklessly forwards. Okay, so when I see that, I'm going to charge forwards. I'm going to throw the first jab, and then I'm going to step as I jab, and then I'm going to come in with the uh, limb one, change So what you notice is, there's a kind of a continual forward energy. When I'm throwing the punches, just go for this one. When I'm throwing the punches, I'm keeping that drive, so that as I step, I'm keeping that drive, keeping that drive. There's no let up. It's just, it feels like a forward, like a wind rushing through. Okay, so one more time. So I'm in a orthodox stance. I step to the outside. And I'll keep going. Okay. In classical form, it's done as a south force. So my foot's on the outside. Generally speaking, in the south force stance, the, the jab is not so much used. What I'm mainly looking for is this down the pipe kind of line. So this hand can be controlling, bridging, I'm looking for my cross. When I get that and I've got my knock back, then I will use the chin choice. So adding that into the pads, I'm in a southpaw stance already, so I'm shifting, throwing it, and following up with the chain punching. Okay, one more time. <laughs> so I shift, chain punching. For you MMA guys, I suggest adding that in. So when you're doing your regular pad work, you can be holding for various things, whatever, okay? And at some point she's rocked, right? That's teaching me the timing to basically go for the kill. What's the Vita Belfort clip? It's killer instinct. Okay, I'm gonna finish there, okay? So that's an example of one from the Orthodox, one from the South Pole. Now you can have a look at the clip. The quickest, the fastest hand in UFC history. A left, a right, a left.